an answers um, back from um, in there, so the sponsoring member because the questions that I'd raised in Committee of the Whole um, fit into two sort of categories. One was around um, um, making the, um, the setup for small businesses uh, the same uh, for Albertan companies as they were for BC companies. In other words, it was about Tilma. That was my understanding that this was harmonized. That's what I was looking for. We're supposed to harmonize. Um, and this was one of the areas that was supposed to be adjusted. It's being adjusted, but it's not being adjusted to harmonize with Tilma. And I didn't get an answer about why. Uh, it, the, why the adjustments were being made in this bill, but they, they weren't being made so that they harmonized with BC. So what was the, um, the thought process behind that? And this, the, um, this, the second piece was a sort of part A and part B, which was around um, that there was no, no uh, allowance or no allowable use of holding companies, um, which is something that's pretty common for small businesses. Um, without that, they have to do a little sort of uh, jig uh, every couple of years to stay uh, in adherence and so I was curious about why that didn't happen. Um, and then there's the um, use of family trust and it's very limited in this bill. My question was why wasn't it more um, and indeed a number of issues had been raised by um, an accountant that had um, uh, had approached me with some very specific questions. And then the, the, the last part the last part was what was the government expecting from the foregone revenue, which is somewhat linked to the question of my colleague um, uh, speaking previous, but you know, foregone revenue is revenue that you give up when you put in uh, something like an incentive, and, it's, and, and tax incentives, let's face it, is the way that government can drive um, change. Um, an incentive will cause people to want to do something, a disincentive will cause people to want not want to do something. Um, and when, when you give up uh, what would have been revenue into the general coffers uh, by offering a tax incentive or disincentive, but mo in most cases an incentive, it means there's less money coming into the coffers. You have to have a way of measuring the effectiveness of that program. Um, and so you need to be able to say, okay, we've got X number of dollars not coming into the coffers. We, that's okay because uh, the difference in that money we expect is going to get us X, Y, and Z. Um, and that, we have not had anything put in front of us that would be able to justify that. Um, and that's what I was looking for. And surely um, a member of the government would not be bringing forward a bill without having considered that. So then you start to say, well, well, then why are you not bringing it forward? You must have considered it. Why didn't you bring it forward? Why can't you answer my questions? So I didn't start out having huge problems with this bill, but um, the more information that's being not delivered, uh, the more problems I have with it. So um, I think at one point there was probably an agreement that there would have been support for it, but uh, that's kind of ebbing away um, now both because it didn't um, do what it purported to do, but because it also fails to be able to set before me, as a legislator, some measurable um, targets to be able to say, this is what we expect to gain by having this bill um, in place. You know, if we're going to forego, my, my colleague said, a million dollars worth of, of, uh, of tax revenue, okay, other people say it's more, fine, whatever. Whichever it is, what are we getting for that? What do the, the people of Alberta get uh, for the fact that they, didn't, they weren't able to collect that money into the general coffers and use it in another way? Okay, then what are they getting? What are we getting for that foregone revenue? It's the same as paying it out. Not taking it in is the same as paying it out. And when we pay it out, we have performance measurements about what, the tax, what benefit the taxpayer gets for that money that's paid out. If you don't bring the money in deliberately as a policy, you should be able to measure that as well, and it, that this is not new. This is a fairly accepted accounting practice, so why can't I get that information on this bill? That's all I was looking for, and I didn't get it. Thank you.